Have you ever wondered how to create uh, this uh, beautiful website uh, with uh, nice animations uh, and incredible transitions uh, in your framer site? Now with this tool you're actually going to be able to see the behind the scenes uh, of pretty much any website and you can actually leverage uh, the structure of existing websites uh, since you're going to be able to copy and paste directly from the web into Framer. Now this is such an exciting plugin and I want to jump right into it because this is going to be a game changer in the Framer sites landscape. So this plugin is going to enable you to copy and paste directly any website into Framer. And the way you can access it is by simply going on Google and searching for Framer plugin Chrome. And the very first result is going to be this HTML to Framer plugin. Now what we're gonna do is uh, we're going to simply go ahead and uh, install the plugin and uh, as you can see now that we have uh, the plugin uh, in our Chrome bar you can uh, simply click on it uh, in order to start the extension and uh, you're going to notice that the extension is working uh, since you're going to find uh, here this uh, bottom right uh, control panel. Now, in order to copy an element, uh, you can simply click on it. So say that, uh, for example, I want to click uh, this uh, layout, uh, I can simply copy it. Uh, and, uh, and in order to copy it, uh, I can simply select uh, the desktop frame uh, and uh, we are going uh, to copy it. Now, as you can see, there's uh, a small edit that we need to do, and that is to change the direction of the stack. So not all of these elements are going to copy one by one directly. You're going to need some sort of adjustment for some components. Other times, it's going to copy perfectly right away. So this is uh, the very first uh, thing that I want to show you. And uh, secondarily, if you go back, uh, I want to show you an example with uh, another website since uh, this is a beautiful template uh, that's uh, available for uh, in Framer, which is Higher Vision. And uh, I want to show you how you can uh, utilize pretty much uh, any website uh, out there. So in this uh, second example, we are on Apple's website and say that I want to copy this uh, section right here. I can easily do that, go back into Framer, deselect what it just did and uh, again I can copy it, uh, paste it, uh, simply switch uh, to vertical or horizontal action ins instead of vertical and I have this uh, section right here. So very easy, it's uh, also going to be extremely useful to copy assets from existing websites instead of maybe downloading the image one by one. So this is yet uh, one more application of this Chrome extension. Now another really cool thing about uh, this uh, extension is the fact that you can add uh, and copy multiple elements uh, at the same time. So for example, if I want uh, to copy this element and the footer at the same time, you can see on the bottom right uh, that there is the ability to copy multiple HTML elements uh, by simply selecting the shift key. So if uh, I go ahead uh, and uh, simply click on uh, with the left of the mouse button, <coughs> I'm going to have one element copied in uh, the clipboard. And if I hold the shift key and uh, I go here on the footer and I click on it, uh, you can see that I copied two items in the clipboard. So when I go back uh, and uh, I go under here on desktop, uh, I can copy both these elements and uh, Again, the footer has been copied perfectly. We just need some adjustments uh, to the top elements, uh, which we can easily do by simply selecting all of them. Uh, and uh, I'm going to right click uh, and add a stack. And uh, at this point, uh, I can uh, simply change the stack direction to horizontal. And uh, this is going to work for the most part, uh, but we still have this uh, issue where Maybe we want this element uh, on uh, the top. So what we can do is uh, we can easily just uh, select these guys, add a stack to them individually, and then uh, the top level stack uh, can be in uh, a uh, vertical direction so that we can uh, 
essentially leverage the power of stocks in order to create more order around this. So this is, uh, as you can see, there's some tweaks uh, that we need to do. It's not uh, super, uh, it's not going to be 100% uh, the carbon copy each and every time. It really depends on how the website is structured because some websites uh, are going to have particular structures, especially if they have maybe some advanced interactions or animations or if uh, the front end uh, engineers uh, simply decided that a specific structure would be more beneficial for that specific website. But as you can see with uh, just a, a few seconds or minutes of uh, adjusting uh, um, very basic elements such as stacks uh, in Framer, you can easily just uh, learn about uh, how the, the structure was implemented, but even more than that, you can have uh, these assets uh, available for you in Framer in a very short amount of time. And also one more thing that I want to mention is that if you want to select the parent element, you can simply click on the S key. And uh, there's also a tutorial right here <laughs> in case you uh, maybe want to check out the original Framer reference. But this should give you a high level overview of everything that you need in order to copy website uh, components and elements into Framer. Now I wanted to round up this video with uh, a disclaimer and that is uh, please uh, do not uh, just uh, copy other people's websites. Uh, it's uh, extremely important uh, to maintain uh, a level of originality and authenticity in uh, your website project. So this tool is meant for inspiration and uh, learning purposes and not uh, copying. So just a, a small disclaimer from an ethical point of view. This is it uh, for this video and uh, in future videos we're going to learn more about uh, these uh, extremely useful framework goodies.